Thousands of Mainers are likely dreading what the coming winter will bring, especially when it comes to heating oil prices. The statewide average right now is around $4.60 a gallon. Many people have already made the switch to other, more efficient ways to heat their homes, but there's a new push to make sure the homes of the future are much more efficient, too. In our ongoing series on Maine's changing climate, New Center Maine producer Stephen Armstrong introduces us to passive building. Then you order and there's a menu right there you can look at. Then we'll start making your drink if you ordered one. Anna Cisco has a vision they for do. her business. This is all going to get like subway tile around it, so it's going to have a really cool feel to it. A from scratch bakery right in the heart of Bethel. On top of the menu and the decor, she's got something else on her mind. So bakeries and cafes, restaurants in general, are high energy consumers. When it came time to transform this former key bank into Gemini Bakery, Cisco was looking for a way to ease that energy burden. Some of the, you know, really important aspects of this is air tightness um, and insulation. Anna Heath is a project manager for Passive House Maine. Uh, you can see how thick these walls are. The company is building out Gemini Bakery with what are known as Passive House techniques. The idea behind this style of construction is to tightly control how heat moves into and out of the building. That means using things like super thick insulation and triple pane windows, carefully sealing the building to stop air and moisture movement, and using a ventilation system that can recover heat. Passive house represents about 80% reduction of um, energy usage relative to what we might call conventional construction. Naomi Beal is the executive director of the nonprofit Passive House Maine. You can heat single family home now, we're talking about smaller spaces, with a, um, the heat of a hairdryer. She says building to this standard does come with a higher upfront cost. If there's a maybe even 5% upcharge for the upfront costs, you get that back so quickly in your operation. A new home just a few miles away from Gemini Bakery was designed from the ground up with passive house standards. Usually they'll have them on the exterior. Anna Heath says the utility bill savings are just one of the benefits that come with paying this much attention to the design. And instead of having hot ankles and a cold shoulder, you've got a more consistent thermal gradient. Um, and that amount of comfort can't be translated into an energy bill. And, we and there's a bigger picture here too. So like Heath says passive house design can move Maine toward its climate goals in two exactly. ways using less energy to heat and cool, and choosing building materials that put less warming carbon into the atmosphere. You know, there's a lot of material that goes into these buildings, and the embodied carbon is how much carbon emission is associated with every single step in that material's life. Okay. Back in Bethel, Anna Cisco is counting down to opening day. Low. Okay, so naturally you're going to be coming in from the parking lot. Okay. She says the decision order. she and that her business partner so made to open in Bethel outside. shows a long-term commitment to the town. And choosing an energy efficient build is an investment in the future we all share. Yeah, consuming energy, if we can do it smartly and in a climate forward way, it just seems like the right way to go. Stephen Armstrong, News Center, Maine.